Hey, it's Rob. And today, we're going to be fixing stuff. Uh, it's been a long, hard winter, and one of the uh, problems that I had this winter mm -hmm. is this lovely ice chisel. You've probably seen these things before. Um, well, this one kind of broke. So, I'm going to try and glue it together. And how, you may ask, are we going to try and glue it together? I'll tell you. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with some JB weld and glue this together in some fashion in order because the I want to try and get the wood to adhere to itself again. And I know JB weld. I've used JB weld quite a bit and it's really, really good stuff. The other thing that we're going to try is this. Fiber Fix Repair Wrap. Uh, this is a new product. I haven't ever seen this before. I picked this up at the hardware store. And it's a wrap tape that's designed to, you know, first of all, you get it wet, and then you wrap it around the thing that you're trying to fix, and you leave it for a while and let it cure, and theoretically, it's a hundred times stronger than duct tape. I'm not sure what that means entirely, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I know that some of the images, like for instance, fixing a hockey stick, that seems an awful lot like this. So... I guess we'll give it a shot. It's the worst that can happen, right? It's already broke. So the dogs are outside with today and they're being very healthy as usual. <laughs> Isis is up on the top of the top of the uh, deck and Piper is over here looking forlorn. One of the first things that we want to do is clean the wood because this is looking pretty grody. I want to get off as much of the old varnish and dirt as I can, without resorting to power tools in the meantime. Yes, we're actually having a power outage today, can you believe that? I know, this is exciting, isn't it? I'm going to try this. don't have brake cleaner with me, but this will be a good bet. This is a, a solvent, and solvents actually work really well with JB Weld. They will thin it a little and get it into the wood grain. So, all right, I'm gonna see how this works. Dogs are very healthy. I actually really like JB Weld. It's a very uh, well-known product. I've actually seen this being used for cylinder heads on the, the lawnmower. It worked really well. Just like Jed, we clamp it. What? Like I said, make sure you always wear gloves. <sighs> We're gonna let this sit for a while, probably a half hour or so before we uh, any, do anything more with it. 
Uh, usually the JV weld will start to set up in about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, it's a little cold, so I might give it a little longer. But I want to try and make sure that that is uh, held together pretty well before we start and wrap it with the uh, fiber fix, this stuff. So, I've never tried this before. Um, looks interesting, and if it works, hey, seems kind of nice. And it'll be a nice little uh, patch on the bottom in case I want to get up close, sort of like a handle. Okay, so uh, I was talking before about not using power tools. Well, we're going to add a little bit of strength to it. So I got these uh, nice little screws. They're not that big and they actually fit really well in there. I'm uh, going to drill some pilot holes in and screw these together so that they have a little bit better hold. Uh, you know, suspenders and belt and epoxy. See how the uh, epoxy is squeezing out there. That's also another good sign. It means that it's uh, locking together really well. I like it. Probably a little overkill. All right, next step, we're gonna try this. Oh look, gloves. When the package comes with gloves, you know, it's probably a good idea to wear them. Step this way, please. We have some questions to you to answer. So according to the package, open this uh, nice seal bag and inside it even comes with IKEA instructions put on the gloves dip it in water take it out of the water get a stool sample wrap your stool sample squeeze your stool sample wrap your stool sample in uh, in this vinyl wrap and then wait uh, eight to ten times not entirely clear but it also says that once you open the package, you got to use the whole thing. So, and yes, there is a website, uh, fiberfix.com. It's not a sponsor. Uh, do, do, do. Prepare surface by cleaning the area around the brake. Open Fiberfix pouch and submerge in room temperature water for five seconds. Goodness. All right. Give it a shot. Pouch is open. Ew. Sticky. All right. I'm going to say good enough for now, because this comes off anyway in the end that vinyl wrap. So now it says wait eight to ten minutes. Sounds good to me. I gotta tell you, this stuff came out nice. I was really surprised. It went from sticky to uh, really nice and solid. I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, its almost like one of those the casts that you get at the doctor's office now. It, uh, it's a wrap like that. It's nice and hard. I mean, it's not sticky at all. And that thing's staying on there. I'm actually kind of impressed. I'll take a look at that again. Uh, I have no idea if this is going to hold up over the winter because, you know, it's not exactly the best fix in the world. But at the same point, between the epoxy, the screws, and this stuff, I think it's got a pretty good chance. There are people moving around in the alley. And so, of course, the dogs need to bark. 
Because what else yeah. do you do when you're a dog? 